Hey guys, glad you stopped by. So tonight for dinner, we are going to do um, a really quick and easy dish that sounds really, really good. And that's a uh, Spanish chicken and rice. Um, it's a one skillet dish, one pot dish. And I think will provide a ton of flavor, really easy, basic ingredients. Um, most of them you should probably have in your pantry. Um, if you do any kind of cooking at home, really. I mean, it's the smoked paprikas and the garlic and the salt. And I mean, there's a couple. There's one that isn't very common and that's coriander, um, but you can replace it easily or leave it out. But I think it will add an adept flavor to it. Um, I buy whole coriander seeds and I just uh, grind them up, whether it's my mortar and pestle, but I just need a little bit, or I also have a mini, uh, it's like coffee grinder, but I use it for spices. Um, I'm cheap, I buy my coffee already ground. But <clears throat> anyhow, that would really be about it. But if you do any kind of fall baking or cooking, you probably have some sort of coriander in your cabinet. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, if this is your first video, I hope you get something out of this one. Check out some of my others. If you're returning or one of my new subscribers, thank you and welcome back. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when my videos come out. And uh, it doesn't mean you have to watch them, obviously, right then and there, but at least let you know when they come out. And that way you have the opportunity to watch them uh, if you so desire. I think that's it. Comments always welcome. I respond to all of them. If you take the time to comment, I will take the time to respond. All I ask is you be nice. Um, it's okay to disagree. Just think before you type. That being said, why don't we head on down here to the counter and we'll get started making this. All right, follow for me one second. Okay, we are down here at the counter. Now, first thing we need to do is make a, a spice mix, a Spanish spice mix. And it's a fairly easy one. Um, it, it's literally one teaspoon of everything. So we're gonna start with one teaspoon of coriander and I grind, like I said, I grind mine, you know, so it's into a powder. Um, you, you might be able to find it in the store already pre-ground. I have never been able to find it. Well, I haven't looked in a long time either. Um, so I just bought the seeds, coriander seeds, which are pretty common in most stores. And like I said, I just grind them up myself. Um, and then to that teaspoon of coriander, we're gonna use one teaspoon of ground cumin one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, if I can get the thing open. And these are like not exact measurement teaspoons, um, but just make sure they're, they're you want them somewhat equal. Uh, one teaspoon of paprika. And I'm using smoked paprika, but if all you have is just paprika, paprika will work. You know, you use whatever you like for spices, but this is a kind of a Spanish rice uh, spice mix. Uh, one teaspoon of chili powder. And then the last ingredients are one teaspoon of garlic. And one teaspoon of salt. And that will be our spice mix. Woo. And you know what? I lied. It's two teaspoons of paprika. And then one teaspoon of everything else. Let me get that other teaspoon of paprika in there. You'll learn if you spend any time on my channel. I have a really bad ability to remember everything all at once. Um, now while I'm putting this all together, I, ha I do have my pan over here heating it up. And with our spice mix, we're just going to stir that together real quick just like such yeah I and I only mentioned the pan warming up because if you use cast iron you, you don't want to it takes forever to get it to properly warm well not forever but it takes a minute um, to warm up so I just started warming mine up now it's got it on low that way it's got a little heat to it all right so in this bowl now we've got our seasoning mixed together and set to the side I have four chicken breasts so the first thing I'm going to do with this chicken breast is I am going to take um, two tablespoons of oil. I have three in here, but I'm gonna use two of them up. And I'm gonna drizzle those over it. Like that. Yep, a little bit more. Like that. And then I'll give it a good rub in, like such. Make sure we get it all over the place. And then we're gonna take half of our seasoning mix we just made, and we're gonna sprinkle that on our chicken just like such 
and we'll give this a good uh, rubbing in so that way it's evenly, evenly put on all the chicken breasts. Okay, so we got our chicken nice and coated with our seasonings and oil. We'll go ahead and set that over to the side. Like I said, I've got my pan warming. I'm gonna go ahead and take that last uh, bit of oil that I had, pour it in the pan, and we're gonna get it heated up. We're on about a medium, medium high heat is what we want. And then once this starts dancing, which shouldn't take long at all, uh, we can go ahead and start cooking our chicken. All right, we're dancing, starting to smoke a little. So we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken breasts, our four chicken breasts. Put them in here and we're going to cook them about two to three minutes aside. We're not looking to get them cooked all the way through. Not yet. Um, but we want to get a good sear on the outside of these and give them a head start. So two, three minutes on each side and then uh, we can move on to the next steps. All right, so the chicken cook. Now, I have this bigger breast here. This house got a nice golden brown look to it. That's what we're looking for. Um, so I let that one cook a little longer. I cooked three minutes per side and then did an additional two minutes per side on that larger one. So now the next thing we want to put in our pan after we've removed our chicken out of it is I'm going to put one and a quarter cups, one and a quarter cups? I'm sorry, two and a quarter cups of chicken broth into this. Now I use my own um, chicken broth, but if you don't have that, you can buy a box, it's easy. Um, but if you're interested in it, I have a video for it. But we're gonna put in two and a half cups. I think I said two and a quarter earlier, but it's two and a half is what I'm running with. Into our pan, we didn't clean it out. And then, uh, yeah, you don't wanna clean it out. You want that, that bit of goodness in there. And there it is. To that, we're gonna add the rest of that spice mix. So we got our Two and a half cups of chicken broth, the rest of our Spanish rice spice mix. Get that, give that a little mix there. There are so many benefits to making your own broth. As a matter of fact, I'll be making more starting this evening. So if you stay tuned for tomorrow's dessert video, there's a good chance you'll get to see the stock pot with the chicken broth in it um, sitting on the counter here because I let it go for almost an entire day before I do anything with it. So we got the rest of our spices in there. We've got our chicken broth. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice. Um, and I'm using bottled lemon juice. If you do use fresh squeezed, that's fine. It's a half a lemon's worth. Um, the original recipe that I got this from called for uh, fresh lemon, but I don't have any fresh lemon and I wasn't gonna go out to the store for just lemon. So I put one tablespoon, which is about what you get with a half a lemon into the mix and then we are going to add one cup of uh i'm using a long grain white rice it's a as it's bosmani rice as a matter of fact that's almost all i solely use anymore i don't really use anything else other than that um but we'll get this in here oh uh, lemon juice so i have seasoning yep give this a good stir around now we got that in there we can go ahead and we can just place our chicken right back in there just like such and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up so we can see it start to boil and as soon as it boils starts to boil we're going to turn it down to a low setting and let this go for about turn it down so it's just barely simmering basically to a lower setting if not low and then once that happens i'm going to put my lid on it and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes so bring to a boil lid down to a simmer 20 25 minutes so <clears throat> we went ahead and 20 minutes checked the chicken to make sure that it wasn't pink on the inside and we are good and that our rice was had fully absorbed our uh, our our liquid our broth and it had and then what i did after that was i took it off and i let it set for 10 minutes now what that does using long grain rice you want to let that sit just to make sure everything's uh, good to go but it also gave us a chance to let this calm down so it didn't melt our face when we tried to eat it yeah that is one thing you don't want to do but there we are that is our finished product and I think it looks amazing it smells delicious I, our kitchen just smells fantastic I really wish you were here 
um, to smell this because it smells just delightful. So we'll go ahead and get us a piece of chicken out. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take all this chicken out of here. That way we can have it separate on the at the table, just like such. And then we'll give this a good stir around so we know what we're doing. And oh yeah, that's just perfectly tender. Yeah, it, it smells so good. I hope it tastes half as good as it smells. So we'll go ahead and get us some rice on our plate, just like such. This was such a quick and easy meal. It's a, it was considered a 30 minute meal. I'm gonna give it a 35, 40 minute meal because you gotta have time to get everything together, assemble, and then uh, let it sit. So 20 minutes and then sitting for 10 is still 30 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and get us a piece of chicken. Don't need a big piece. And then, I went ahead and made up some green beans, so that way we had something to go alongside the rice, because why not? Sounds good, right? And I was kind of hoping for corn, but green, bean always, green beans always work. I, I need to get to the grocery. I've been lazy at the grocery store lately. But there we are, nice and plated up. Can't argue that, not one bit. So. All we got left to do is give this a try. So we'll go ahead and get us a piece cut here. There we are. All right, so first we're gonna try this chicken. Mm. That's good, good flavor. I like that. It's not dry. It's got good flavor. It's got that Spanish rice flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That rice is rock and roll. Oh yeah. This is really good. I'm gonna have one more piece of rice. I have one more bite of chicken. Mmm. Yeah. Sorry, I was a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, give this a try. That chicken's got amazing flavor for just a few spices. I think the only thing I would maybe do different is I would make up the spice blend and coat the chicken and then let it sit for an hour you know in the fridge just so we can really grab a hold of that uh, vegetable oil and those spices that you put around it give it a chance to marinate a little but you still that, that chicken is super juicy and those flavors are there that rice is incredible and i mean eat you really, you can't argue that. Let's try these green beans. Mm. Oh. You can't go wrong with fresh green beans. I ever, <laughs> in my opinion, you just can't. I mean, they were frozen, but they were fresh from the garden frozen. Um, and that way, I mean, it has all its flavor. Perfect. Um, yeah, give this a try. I highly recommend it. It's quick, it's easy, handful of ingredients. I'm gonna say it, 40 minutes tops, you know, unless you were moving at a snail's pace, which I do on, a 10, on occasion. Give this a try. Let me know if you do. Give me a comment down below if you do. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not real sure what we're gonna do for dessert. I'm leaning towards a zucchini cake. Uh, it's a bun cake. I, I found a ran across a recipe for it. It sounded really good. So we may do that, but I have no idea yet. I probably won't know till tonight before I go to bed. Or first thing in the morning when I get up and go, oh no, you know what sounds good is this. But I hope it'll be good all the same. So till tomorrow uh, for dessert, I love you. I love you very much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Tell somebody else you love them and love them very much. They may need to hear it. It's gonna make them feel good either way. It's gonna make you smile and feel good. 
just to tell them that, I guarantee it. And if you make them some of the Spanish chicken and rice, it's going to lead to a, a full belly, a warm heart, lots of conversation. And there's enough there. You could probably invite a couple friends over or, you know, maybe even a neighbor. Get to know somebody. Invite somebody over you haven't seen in a while. You know, rekindle a friendship. But till tomorrow for dessert, I love you. And I'll see you then. All right? Bye-bye. Hmm.